Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I am joined by another very special guest, V of Just Eat the Cookie. V's designs are pieces of art, you guys. I follow her on Instagram, and I kept seeing these like pieces of art like popping across my feet. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, those are cookies. Like, I can't even frost a cookie, like, just with a smear of icing. And what V creates, it, it's incredible. So without further ado, I would like to welcome V to the Motivated Mompreneur podcast. Welcome. Thank you. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> so tell us about you. How in the world did you start your business? How did you become a master cookie creator? Oh, a master. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> um. Well, where do I begin? Um, I've been doing art since I was four. So I've always had that kind of background to just have that visual creativity, um, you know, on the right side, left side, whichever side of your brain it is. Um, Cause my grandpa used to paint. And then uh, at eight is when I started getting really into it and had my first paint set from Bob Ross. Fast forward for many, many years. Um, I did tattooing for eight years. Um, thinking that that's what my art career would be set in. But then uh, um, I went to ministry school out in Fairlawn, Ohio, and I kind of just left the tattooing industry and I started doing cookies um, on the side right before COVID had hit. And then so I was able to kind of like start something before COVID. And then all of a sudden it came into this huge thing and people kept asking if I still do tattoos. I'm like, no, I get to do all my art on things that can sit still and don't complain on me now. So it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just pretty so, much it. I mean, it's pretty, I know it's like simple and basic, but no, that's wait, that's, I here. that's okay. But that's incredible. Like, who would have thought, you know, going from tattooing to making cookies, like it's not a trajectory you would think of that a business would take, but not at all. But at the same time, it makes sense. You do have to be so creative and no wonder you can create these intricate pieces of art. I mean, I literally can't draw a stick figure. It's, it's bad. And to be able to <laughs> you know, use a needle on someone's skin and then be able to use your artistic ability to make these cookies is just, that's a gift, girlfriend. Holy moly. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. But it's also interesting, uh, like with the tattoo world, because sometimes you're using like a transfer paper for your design and then you just, you know, basically trace that on the skin with your tattoo machine. And then you fill in and do all the creative, you know, shading and making it your own piece. Same thing with cookie. Um, I never had the pleasure of a projector in my first two years of doing the cookies. So I kind of had like freehand really everything. And then once like the orders kept getting larger, I'm like, I need help. So I was able to finally get my hands on a projector from Amazon. And then it's the same thing, it shines like a traceable image of what I choose onto the cookie. But then from there, I'm still doing like the shading and just still make it my own piece, but using like reference pictures from the customers, like from their invites or whatever. So I'm still hand painting designs. Like if I can't ice it, and if I don't have like just a cute background stencil, and if I can't ice on top of that, the design, I'll hand paint it. I don't ever do anything edible image. I don't like print it out. So it's all made by my hands with love for y'all. <laughs> I love that. Now, what's the craziest thing that a customer has ever requested that you make out of a cookie? On a cookie or a tattoo? A cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, on a cookie, a crazy one. Oh goodness. It was pretty um, much I everything did but a vasectomy order. No way. <laughs> yeah, but I did like a vasectomy <laughs> order. I did. And it was so much fun though. Like it was probably one of the, like, the fun times I had had on cookies. I had free range of it. I'm like, I'm just going to roll with this as far as I can go. <laughs> 
and it was <laughs> awesome. And you could actually find that on my Instagram page, but it, it's it's censored. So you just got to kind of flip through it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that just goes to show basically if a customer has a dream, you can really create it. Yep. Cookies are like, there's options are endless on cookies. <laughs> Definitely. Now as an entrepreneur, what is one of the biggest challenges you, you face in your business and growing your business? Yes. Definitely family time. So I have a 13 year old son and then uh, the hubby, this is my second marriage. So it's, we're a blended family. But in the beginning, you know, like, you know, I was able to take on small orders when I first started. And then as the business kept booming, I'm still just a one man band over here. Like my husband calls himself the doughboy and he'll bake some cookies for me. Other than that, I'm doing, you know, all the icing and all the decorating, you know, all the artistic stuff of it, artistry. And um, my kid doesn't help at all. But <laughs> I, the, the painting of the cookies goes into hours of the night to where I could be nine in the morning until midnight in the evening. And it just started to really consume me. And because I really wanted to not say no to anybody. I wanted to make sure that if anybody came to me with a custom order, I'd be like, yes, 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 no matter how booked I may be. So I had to really learn like where's the soft spot mm -hmm. and to, okay, it's going to be a regular like nine to five job, cut it off at five, 5.30 and don't even like look at anything, you know, don't, don't get on the feeds right now. Don't look at the social because you'll just want to respond to people. Mm -hmm. And I do, I still do respond to you guys on my social. But I just had to pull back a little bit, you know, and to not take in as many custom. Um, this probably happened maybe like eight months ago. And so now I'm to a good spot where I can say yes. I, I'm not turning anybody away because, like, I had so many returning customers that they get, like, oh, man, she's good at what she does. Um, she's booked, like, you know, three to six months ahead, but I still want her. So I want to make sure I'm on the books for next year. So at least mm -hmm. like that's happening, you know, like the, the word of mouth, you know, it's just like, no, just see the cookies where it's at. She like, it's not only beautiful, but tastes great. Like if I had a nickel <laughs> every time that was said. Yeah. So, so yeah, so I found the balance and I'm still saying yes to everybody and I'm still doing custom. I'm in the stores now selling cookies out here in Wadsworth. I'm in Medina County. Um, it's just, it's just awesome for me, what God has done in our lives with the cookies. That's exactly, really cool. Exactly. And just the customers and the clients. That's amazing. But I love how you said, you know, you had to set those boundaries. You had to be intentional with your time because you were working 24 seven. And I don't think that's why any of us go into business, but so many of us have found ourselves in myself included. I mean, there were days when I'm like, Mm -hmm. What the heck am I doing? Like, what? Why am I doing this? Then I can't be there for my kids, my my husband, my family. Like, and then I go into mean mom mode. So, yeah, I love that you touched <laughs> upon that and having those designated work hours because yes, when you're first starting a business, you literally like say yes to everything, and then you realize like, oh, is this the best thing? Because you end up burnt out. But you take that step yeah. back and you set those boundaries, and it's like, okay, I can. I have a little bit more control because, you know, let's face it in life, we, we have no control. And especially with having kids, you never know what curveballs are going to come flying at you any given day. And exactly, I, you know, every time yep. I think I kind of have it together, like something else happens and I'm just like, well, you know, we're just learning to roll with it. So tell us exactly. more about, it's always going to be like that. Yeah, exactly. So tell us more about your cookie classes. I always see you posting these, these cookie classes you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, are you primarily up towards yes. Wadsworth or where, where do you do the cookie cut classes at? And tell us about those. Yeah. So, um, I started in Medina County, but now it's even branched out further than that. Um, I do classes at like, um, wineries so I have one actually tomorrow morning 12 to 2 at White Timbers out here in Wadsworth and it's three cookies that I'll teach and there are three stacking pumpkins and they come you'll be able to put your cookies in like a 12 by 5 size box when it's all done and then they take them home they take out um, all the icing all the stuff that comes with to do the cookies per class I supply all of it um, everything's made from scratch all my cookies and icing 
and then you just kind of come, you pay for your ticket, your spot, and you just have a good time. Most of the wineries that I do, like um, Unwind out here in Wadsworth, or um, I have another one coming up December, hold on, November 26th at 1875 winery so they're out towards Hartville yeah. um and we're doing like a Christmas theme cookie class and that one is still taking signups too so if anybody's interested out there November 26th 12 to 2 1875 winery go Ooh. to the website and you can sign up well you can call me too go to the website that posts up there or is our social and then you just get a hold of me to use the Venmo or the Zelle to pay for the class but yeah nice. it's usually three anywhere from three to six different cookies that will decorate. I have pictures and then you just go drink, have fun. Some of them, like I got another one December 16th at Bomb and Orchard in Rittman. Mm -hmm. And then aside from like classes like that, um, like there's one December 29th, um, it's at the Galaxy Restaurant in Wadsworth. So it's like a New Year's like bash kind of thing. That one, you'll get a free glass of wine with a ticket. But I do private ones too. So people have reached out now. They like, they come to those classes like, hey, do you ever do like a private one at my house? I'm like, let's do it, girlfriend. So we'll come out there and at least 10 people to a class. It can be more, um, just like a minimum of 10. And then same thing. I bring all the cookies, all the fun stuff, and we just have fun with your friends. Drag the men sometimes into it, bring some kiddos. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fun. It's like a big nailed it episode when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what it looks like when I try and create anything. I, I should be on nailed it. I, I mean, the things that I make, they usually taste okay, but I, looks wise, absolutely atrocious, but I cannot think of anything better than wine <laughs> and cookies. Those are like two of my like top loves in life. So what you were doing is absolutely yeah. fabulous. <laughs> So what is your website so people Thank can you. find you and sign up for these wonderful events? Yeah, so no website, but I do have Instagram and Facebook. Both are all one word, just eat the cookie dot O-H. You'll see my ginger face on there and you got the right one. Um, the full <laughs> name is Veronica, but I go by V. So don't think you got some other weird lady making cookies out there. It's still me. <laughs> just eat the cookie dot O-H. Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys be sure to go follow V on social. I'm telling you what she makes. They are absolutely amazing. And she is the one that did the cookies for confident cells. So check her out. If you guys are loving what you're hearing, be sure to give us a rating on whatever platform you're listening to us on. Life's too short. Just eat the cookie.